Hi everyone, I am back with week number seven of the Happy Mail collaboration with Mandy's Place. I will leave the, the link to her channel along with some of the other ladies participating in the description box. So please go on over and check them out, see what they've been up to. So this week it's just a project share for me. So this is my packaging little box that I altered and happy mail will be this mini gorgeous girl stamp this is sugar and spice just recently I was making a purchase off of Blitzy and they were having a sale on their mini gorgeous girls so I figure I'd pick one up for some happy mail so one lucky lady will be getting this little girl. Okay, so I was having difficulty finding something for her to fit in, and I didn't want to do another paperback because I've done a couple already. And so I went up to the Dollar Tree, and this is actually a gift card holder. So this is packaging. That's what it looked like. Get out of the glare. There we go. That's what it looked like. And what I did was I started, I painted it with a base coat of just regular white acrylic paint. And then I did probably about three coats of the white just so it covered up all of the um, original coloring of the packaging and then I used this rosy mauve that I got from Hobby Lobby such a pretty color this is actually showing up a little brighter than it actually is it's a little bit more subdued very very pretty shabby kind of color um, and I probably did two good coats of this. And then I did um, just one coat of this Ultra Matte Chalk Finish Mod Podge. I think I've already said this in another video, but it it's not chalky to me. But it's definitely not glossy, so I would just call it regular matte. But I did one coat of that because um, it would it keeps the paint from wanting to um, scratch off. And then I um, did some trim all the way around on the sides here. Okay, and then a little piece of doily. This is actually a, a smaller doily and um, they're from this pack of the Downton Abbey which I got from Tuesday morning a while back I like these smaller ones they're really cute and I didn't have any paper this green color this is actually coming off way brighter than it is it's actually like a minty a soft minty green because I wanted it to match with these jelly rhinestones that I used for them. They match, but they're both showing up way brighter. It's more of a mint color. Um, so what I did was I used these alcohol markers. And I used the, um, it's like a pastel-y green mint color. And I actually um, did it not... I didn't just color it like once. I colored it probably like three or four times and let it dry in between each one to achieve the um, color I wanted. The dark, you know, how rich the color was and everything. And then, yeah, these are the jelly rhinestones that I used. And 
these were dyes. Those, these are them. I got these from AliExpress, and I like these ones because it does the background as well, you know? So you can do it like I did, one color and then another, and it really makes it stand out like that. It's really nice. Okay. And then this die cut um, is a Spellbinders. Go also from Tuesday morning. It's a really pretty dye. It's really, really pretty. I like it. And then just a little paper rose up in the corner. And that's it. Simple, but it, it turned out nice, I think. So. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We have two more weeks left of this um, collaboration. So um, stick around until next Monday when I'll be back with the next one. Please, please, please go over and check out the other ladies and um, show them some support. I'd really appreciate it. Okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.